Night Moves Cafe in Brookline, a hangout spot complete with coffee, snacks, and an organic atmosphere, has just about every board game you can imagine. The cafe counter features many delicious options, including cappuccinos, milkshakes, and grilled cheese. The interior of Night Moves is rustic and cozy. Interesting trinkets are scattered among the massive shelves of games, making it a one-of-a-kind experience. We met with Devin Trevelin, the owner, to see what this game nook and cafe is all about. Board game store, like a retail shop down the street, and there was, because of distribution and Amazon, board games were uh, retail stocks in general having a lot of trouble, and so uh, we created a service uh, and just service. Oh, that's really um, a service business where we would go out and we would teach uh, games to kids. We just started doing corporate events, birthday parties, and so then I broke away and I opened Night Moves as a sort of a mix between. Um, there's not a lot of cafe culture in the U.S. I studied abroad for a while, and not, there's so much more uh, homey feel to a lot of the cafes that are open late, um, and so I wanted to create something that. Uh, I'm a night owl myself, so I want to be able to stay up late, and Boston doesn't really uh, let you do that. So we're uh, open till 2 a.m. to sort of create community. So people can have a, a place to go and hang out, play games with their friends. That's not necessarily a bar, um, and it, uh, that's the whole idea. In July, we opened a second location in Teal Square in Somerville. Its community is still growing. I mean, a lot of what we do is about slow growth. It's about sort of building community, building people. Um, it's in a, a more, I would say, uh, less diverse area and more uh, family oriented. And so there's, I mean, Somerville is really thickly settled. So there's a lot of people who sort of who live there. We don't necessarily know about it because we don't. We do advertising. We do a lot of word of mouth and social media. But um, hopefully it'll grow into you know its own community and cool. the types of games we have are anything from um, things you knew when you were growing up from Parcheesi to Monopoly from you know 20 years ago um, mm -hmm. to brand new strategy games that take six hours to play or uh, you know two hours of your time and it's really you know it's becoming a much more popular ideal. Uh, Settlers of Catan is kind of like what everybody hears and sort of like the gateway board game and then you've as you can see behind me, there are thousands of games. When people come in, they're looking to have uh, a, a different experience. You know, I had uh, a couple of girls come in, and they they're like, well, "Where are we?" Because they thought they were, you know, transported to a different world. Which is kind of the, the idea is that you're you're having an experience with your friends. Um, you're meeting people. Um, there's no pressure. Everyone has a common goal to play a game. You can talk to the people next to you. Um, it's a, it just, it's all about community building and, and meeting people and people you wouldn't normally meet. From Renaissance games like Splendor to classics like Risk and even hilarious modern card games like Joking Hazard, Night Moves has everything a classic gamer could want. For Good Morning Emerson, I'm Juliana Bruno. Back to you guys in the studio. Hi, I'm Juliana Bruno, your DIY correspondent from Good Morning Emerson. I hope you liked what you saw, and if you'd like to watch another clip from this episode, click the link on the left. If you want to watch another video from this season of GME, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching.